Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 22nd March 2020. I am Sagar Nandi. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I retired several years ago and now I am living in Thailand, swing trading stocks using the Q trading systems and techniques. You may watch this and other videos on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably and contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com as well as on my twitter handle sagarnandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Let me go through the standard disclaimer first. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques that I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument, I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will look at oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. And then I will demonstrate the use of Q360 degrees analysis technique, where you can align the forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level as well as technical level to come up with truly low risk high probability trades. That was the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis with oil ETF USO, looking at it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template, you may decide if there is a trading opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, both the thrust and jump indicators are pointing to extremes. This is very bearish, not a time to take short trades. In the weekly chart, it is dropping sharply. This week's backdrop candle color and shape both are bearish. It fell down with extreme bearish pressure for four successive weeks. Very oversold. This is not a time to try to take long trade in USO. What about short trades? The optimal shorting opportunity was perhaps at this point. And if you watched my earlier market roundup videos, that was the time I suggested taking short trades in USO. That was based on price going up and hitting the watermark resistance level. And you can see there was a bearish headwind signal as well. From there, price has dropped a lot. Along the way, you could probably take a short trade at this point, though price was already oversold. Now it has dropped a lot. And in the daily chart, it displayed a bullish headwind possible reversal signal. There is no headwind reversal long trade setup. However, because the headwind signal had come on Thursday, if you had a short position in USO, you would apply trailing stop in that trade to protect your profit. This is too oversold to take any short trade now and there is no long trade setup as well. Gold ETF GLD in the weekly chart, the jump indicator was at an extreme. 
a reversal is likely from that level. That indeed happened and price dropped for two weeks. This week's backdrop color is bearish, however the candle shape is indecisive. Though price dropped this week and in fact it dropped with heavy bearish pressure, the relative performance line sharply tilted up, showing that though price dropped, it still outperformed the market. In the daily chart also, we can see the relative performance is tilting up. In the daily chart, price has become oversold, that is seen from the thrust and jump indicators and also from the stretch band indicator. On Friday, the oversold condition went away. We have the pull release signal. If price goes up from here, you may look for a long trade opportunity. There is no swing trading setup using the weekly daily at a glance template. If price goes up, then you may look for a long trading opportunity using intraday fine tune 10 minute or 5 minute chart. After the commodities analysis, I continue with the market level analysis. That is the highest level of my 360 degrees analysis technique. The aim is to decide if the market is bullish or bearish. If bullish, then I am going to look for buying opportunities using stocks. And if bearish, I am going to look for shorting opportunities using stocks. From the weekly chart, we can see that at this point, price was at an extreme seen by the thrust indicator and jump indicator, both were overbought. Around that time, the bearish headwind came in the weekly chart and from there, in four weeks, price dropped heavily. Now it is oversold. Both the jump and the thrust indicators are at the lower extremes. And the band indicator, stretch band indicator also shows the oversold state. This week's candle color and shape both are very bearish in the weekly chart. And the weekly candle broke below the watermark support level. In the daily, price is dropping sharply. Friday's candle color and shape both are bearish. It is oversold, but it is looking very bearish. Because it is oversold, I am not going to look for any short trade right now. And it is very bearish, therefore, there is no buying opportunity as well. Dow Jones Industrial Average Dia. Here, price never reached the extreme for thrust and jump indicators in the weekly chart, showing that it was weaker than the overall market. That weakness was visible from the relative performance line also, which was tilting down. After that, it has dropped sharply, similar to SPY. The thrust and jump, both of those indicators, thrust and jump, are at the lower extreme now. In the past, reversals had happened from such lower extremes of thrust and jump. However, there is no such indicator from the candle chart. The week's candle is very bearish, both in shape and color. What about the daily chart? In the daily chart, price has dropped sharply. On Thursday, there was a bullish headwind signal. There was no headwind long trade setup, but the signal had come. Looking at that, if you had a short position in Dia, you would protect profit by applying the trailing stop. Russell 2000 ETF, IWM. In the weekly chart, both thrust and jump indicators are at the lower extreme. 
a reversal is possible from this level. In the past, reversal has happened from similar extremes of thrust and jump. However, there is no buying signal using the Q trade setups. This week's backdrop candle color is bearish. The shape is mixed because it has a long lower tail. In the daily chart, here also price displayed a bullish headwind possible reversal signal on Thursday. There was no buy setup at minimum if you had any short position you would protect profit using trailing stop. NASDAQ ETF QQQ here also thrust and jump are at lower extremes. In the past reversal has happened from such extremes. QQQ is the strongest of the market ETFs. The relative performance is sharply tilting up both in weekly as well as the daily chart. And this is the only market ETF where the weekly memory trend line support is holding. We can see that the daily is holding support as well from this memory support level. If the market reverses from here, then you may look for a buy setup using QQQ rather than using the other market ETFs. There is no swing trade setup using the at a glance weekly daily chart template. If the market goes up, you may switch to the fine tune real time 5 minute or 10 minute chart template and look for a buy setup there. Time to make a call on the market outlook. The market ETFs fell sharply for four weeks. They are very oversold now. The jump and the thrust indicators are at lower extremes in the weekly charts. In the past, reversal has happened from such extreme low levels. We may be getting ready for that. However, there is no bullish signal yet, except that Two of the market ETFs, DIA and IWM, displayed bullish headwind possible reversal signal on Thursday. There was no headwind reversal trade setup, but the signal has come. That is also alerting us that a reversal is possible. However, we will not buy anything until we have a proper buy trade setup. Market is clearly bearish. I am keeping my market outlook to be bearish, but it is not only bearish, it is very oversold. So oversold that it is not a time to short. We may get ready to buy stocks. And as I mentioned, no harm repeating, Q traders will buy only when the buy trade setups are available. We are not going to try to catch a falling knife. How is the sector performance? The one month sector performance is also very bearish. Here I am looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bars represent this week's performance, green bar previous week's performance, blue bars two weeks performance before that. Everything is bearish. All the sectors went down this week very heavily. One week ago also, they fell down heavily and prior to that, you can see over two weeks also, everything fell down. This sector graph is showing extreme bearishness. How much did the sectors drop in last one month? Let's have a look at that from QH sector industry rotation analysis tool. This is QH. I can see sector industry rotation happening in real time using this tool. From the sector percentage tab, we can see over one month period, the sectors drop by between 19% plus for 
consumer staples to 57% plus for energy. These were extreme drops. If we look at the five day period, again everything went down. You can see that from the summary numbers, zero sectors went up, 11 went down. And on Friday also, no sector went up, everything went down. This is also confirming the bearish picture at the sector level. Not a time to look for buying stocks unless we first see the market reversing. The market is very bearish, the sector is also bearish. Is it time to start to bottom fish? Not as per my analysis. Let me explain. In Q Global, there are two compound scans Q Finder looking for long signals and Q Finder looking for short signals. I ran those two scans on SP 1500 stocks. This is the summary. Total number of symbols showing some bullish picture 179, bearish picture 527. Total number of signals on the bullish side 228, bearish side 865. It is clearly more bearish than bullish. Sometimes when the market is oversold, you may find more long bounce than short bounce. That is not the case. The number of short bounce is 38, long bounce is only 1. In terms of touch also, long touch only 13, short touch 33. That is not showing many reversal candidates. And if you look at the candle reversal pattern, on the bullish side only one, bearish side 50. When you look at the touch, bounce and reversal, that is not showing an encouraging picture for bottom fishing. What about breakouts? Even in such oversold market, bearish breakouts are 41, bullish breakouts only 4. Not at all a time to look for buy setups right now. I will not spend more time in today's market roundup. The picture is very clear. Market is very bearish. At the same time, it is extremely oversold. So oversold that it is dangerous to take shots right now. And it is so bearish, it is risky to take longs as well. The jump and thrust indicators, even in weekly charts, are at levels from where reversal is likely. And the bullish headwind signal did come in two of the market ETFs on Thursday. These are showing that a reversal is possible. However, the sectors are also very bearish and the compound scans are not showing many bullish signals as well. This is neither a time to take shorts nor a time to take longs. It's best to stay aside from taking swing trades right now. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Other than this market roundup video, I have also started taking the live market meet sessions. I am using YouTube live for that. If you are following me on my YouTube channel, Trading Profitably, you should get notified about the live market meet sessions. And I will also try to post the timing of those sessions on my Twitter handle, Sagannandi. Thank you once again for attending today's session. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.